feeling a bit nostalgic. That's why I'm trying to catch a perch. Right. Easy. Excitement there, hooking into a stick. Right, well I've driven down to the Hallswell River on Seabridge Road, just to have a look. This section is open. From the bridge down from Lake Ellesmere, it's just over there, a few hundred metres. I don't know about access though. Have a few casts off the bridge to see what happens. Just trying to catch a perch just for something different. It's quite brown. I was looking on Google Maps and this part of the river actually runs out to nothing. And the Hallswell Canal, which is over there, which is actually shut. Um, takes the water down to the lake. Right, we'll have a few flicks and then I'm going to go around to Lake Forsyth. Well, I'm going to chuck out my seven and a half foot salmon rod. It's a three to eight kilo. It's got plenty of power to it. Seven to 28 gram. It's a Daiwa, beautiful rod. Well, I'm going to put on my lightest jig head. It's a 30 tooth of an ounce. I bought these Savage gear ones the other day, so I might start off with one of them. The Rainbow Trout pedal tail. Right, easy. Doesn't look like I'm the first person to stand here. Savage gear. Yes. It's very brown. It's about a metre deep. These are really handy to have. A friend from Europe sent it for me. Oh shit, why'd I cut that off? Right, now I've got a Z-Man Calico Candy. Which way up it's supposed to go. There we go. Right, here's Lake Forsyth. Lift my waders on and have a few flicks here, see what happens. So warm. Here goes the goose. Bouncing it along the bottom.
on a trout trick for kilo salmon on this in Lake Pukaki. Excitement there, hooking into a stick. Right, a few casts, caught a stick so it wasn't completely fruitless. Camera's not level. I'm gonna move just over there around by those trees. Feeling a bit nostalgic, that's why I'm trying to catch a perch. Just to catch them back in the UK before I left. What's this? A little stream. That's my little inflatable boat. Perfect on here. What a Shelton Lake. Oh yeah. They're on the bottom. Right here I'm at the end of Lake Forsyth. I just found a decoy, so I'll have that. Give it a crack. Battery's going flat, so I'm gonna have to change it, but I left the spares in the car like an idiot. It's muddier on the bottom here. I don't want to sink. There's plenty of fishermen just drowned. Oh, no, snag. I'd say based on the debris on the beach, there's a few sticks and branches lying around on the bottom. So there's a bit of soft mud, I don't know, three or four inches of it closer in, but now I'm back onto stonier stuff. So it's actually pretty good. Got a pair of waders. You'd be able to probably walk around quite a lot of the edge. Not too much trouble. Right. We're gonna go and walk over there, see how far out we can get. I've got an assortment of soft bait. I'll leave my fishing bag there. See how we get on. We'll put a lighter jig kit on as well. It's definitely not sinking as quick. About two inches away from my bollocks with that water. Now there's a bit of a wave. I feel like I'm going to get. My Queensbury's wet. Oh, big rock. Thing. Right, here we go. Nice, beautiful, sunny, warm day. Let's see how we get on. Could have found a deep oil, I would have won for work. Bit of sight that floods when it rains. So I'm going to put the decoy in it. Well, didn't catch anything. I think I had a couple of grabs, but can't be sure. Could have just been the bottom. So I've got to head off to a 40th birthday party for the rest of the weekend. So I'll be basically smoking meat and eat, drinking beer. Sounds like a tough time. It's a beautiful weekend for it. It's so warm. It's supposed to be a high of 18 or something. So next time I'm going to come and fish the head of Lake Forsyth and um, hopefully I'll do better. See you on the next one.